Good neighbors are simply the best. And these Tennessee guys are the kind of neighbors everyone would want. You know, I'll be out doing, doing yard work and stuff and he'll just come over and just help. I love helping people. If I can help anyone when the time's there, I'll try to do it. But their bond goes far beyond yard work. Austin McKeon is an amputee. He lost part of his leg a couple years ago and has been dealing with pain ever since. Aaron Smith stepped up to help. We just took a bad situation into something good, something funny. Aaron is a sculptor and created a one-of-a-kind prosthetic for his neighbor in need. Like an alien bug type thing It's kind of what I want to go for. Oh, I felt like I was 12 again. I loved it. it. Made me laugh instantly. I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It keeps my mind off of the pain quite a bit. Make people laugh. They love seeing it. Neighbors helping neighbors. And that's what we're celebrating today. If you can take some of the stuff, the good stuff that's happened to you and pass that on to someone, it doesn't take anything away from you. Lend a hand when people need a hand, because there's going to be a day that everyone's going to need a hand. Positivity is knocking. Come answer the door. This is Good to Know. This could work. This could actually work. <laughs> It's kind of cheesy, but no matter what situation, flowers are always such a positive thing to bring. Honestly, it just gave me a sense of purpose, you know, like being able to make other people happy. It was just like a very emotional and beautiful thing to be able to watch. I absolutely could not believe it. I couldn't believe my eyes. It's given me hope. The big kindness in his heart that made him do that for a total stranger really speaks to his character. God bless you, baby. <laughs> everyone, glad you're with us. This is Good to Know. I'm your host, Lindsay Boach, and we have positive stories about neighbors helping neighbors, even the ones you just haven't met yet. Lord, I thank you. Latonia Thomas. Give me the right words to say to bless this young man, God. Is waiting for her night in shining blue. Okay, I see a truck coming. This story begins four days prior. And I mowed the front grass. And I was breathing a little different, but I was okay. Mrs. Thomas was tackling some yard work at her Decatur Street home. When I got to the last section back here, that's when the craziness starts. Temperatures were hovering near 90 degrees. My left arm went numb. Um, I felt nauseous and I couldn't get my breathing to slow down. The heat and humidity take their toll. I called 911 because I couldn't get my breathing to slow down and I got scared. I really felt like I was going to die. Mrs. Thomas panics but manages to call for help. And I was expecting an ambulance, but I was not expecting a hero in a fire truck that day. I believe it was toned out as a lady uh, unresponsive. Firefighters from Station 17 on Sems Avenue respond in minutes. When a citizen dials 911, that's the worst day of their life. Bones Logan was part of the crew. This time of year, it, it could be a heat-related emergency. The first responder with 19 years in the fire service says heat exhaustion can be fatal. Yeah. Paramedics help a grateful Mrs. Thomas stabilize and recover. But it's what the 46-year-old firefighter does beyond his job description that touches her heart. And so one of the paramedics said, well, if you're worried about your yard, that's the last thing you need to worry about because one of our firemen is outside in the backyard cutting your yard. The educator at Armstrong High School says firefighter Logan could teach a class in caring. The big kindness in his heart that made him do that for a total stranger really speaks to his character. Mrs. Thomas needed to thank her landscaper lifesaver in person. So I don't know if it'll be okay to hug because of Rona, but I just want to give him the biggest hug. Which brings us to this moment. And he got his uniform on. <laughs> you sure to look handsome in that uniform, boy. Meeting patients after an emergency is rare. 
God bless you, baby. I'm so glad you're feeling that. This firefighter couldn't turn down the invitation. Thank you so very much. Yes, ma'am. Yes, welcome. sir. People just don't do things like that out of the kindness of their heart as much anymore. Mowing the lawn took just 15 minutes. No big deal for the first responder. Well, when I called to find out who you were, your colleagues had so many beautiful things to yeah. say about you. I paid them a lot of money to say that too. <laughs> Mrs. Thomas <laughs> says his actions will last a lifetime. Most of the guys in the fire service, we don't want medals or anything like that, but you know, the hug I got today, that's, that's my reward. I just like to help people. That's, you know, if I can do something to make your day better, then, then that's what I try to do. Make no bones about it when it comes to going the extra yard. We love you. Firefighter Logan mm -hmm. is a cut above. I believe that it was divinely ordered that day for those things to happen the way they happened so that people can look at this young man and see that there are really kind people in the world who are willing to bless other people without expecting anything in return. And he's the example. First one I did. Pass by Angelina Pellegrino's house on State Street in Batavia. Love is my religion is my favorite. And you'll know it when you see it. A lot of people like the island one or the beach themed one. Pellegrino's property is lined with large painted rocks. Close to 200, in fact. She's even branched out into her neighbor's yard. Now this all started back in May. What I would do is unearth the boulders in my backyard and start painting like full scale paintings on them. I felt that people just needed something to make them smile, um, even for a second. Yes, from funny ones like don't go bacon my heart with a picture of an egg and a slice of bacon to fancy ones. Literally, there's one that says I'm so fancy here. There's almost something for everyone, although there is one topic off limits. Pellegrino says there's no place for politics here. It's just all about spreading, spreading happiness right now in, in a world of such anger and hostility and, you know, division. Pellegrino's even becoming a bit of a rock star with her neighbors. A lot of them will come every day to see what's new out here, so that's always fun. Which is why she doesn't plan on putting down the paintbrush anytime soon. Maybe another neighbor will put rocks down, I don't know. If people can walk by and just get a good laugh or a feel-good moment, that's, that's basically what I aim to do. And if you think that rocks, check out this artwork this New York boy is creating to help his neighbors. Now I'm going to trace it and color it in. When eight-year-old Ethan Goldsmith from Manhattan draws, he is completely focused. He's also on a mission to help others. If you want to help people during this time of corona, um, you could think something that you're good at, like a talent, and then... You could do it. Goldsmith is a mini artist for hire, taking requests on his Instagram and Twitter accounts with the help of his mom to create personalized drawings of healthcare heroes. He charges $20 or more a drawing. He donates a majority of the proceeds to an organization called Get Us PPE, a nonprofit that has already helped raise enough money to deliver over 2.5 million pieces of personal protective equipment in hospitals and homeless shelters across the country. With the second wave coming, you know, the need is just as dire. His generosity is really, we really value that. Goldsmith's mom and her sister, Dr. Allison Ocean, came up with the idea after Goldsmith drew a picture to honor his aunt. He drew it and he said that, that I'm his healthcare hero and, and it just, it warmed my heart. Goldsmith and Ocean thought his portraits would generate some interest. But as the request started pouring in, Goldsmith's little project started to raise hundreds of dollars. I'm very proud of him. Very proud of him. It takes a little, it takes, you know, a, a very special soul to, to want to help others and to give back to the community. Goldsmith's message is simple. Every little bit helps. And he wants to remind people through his incredible artwork that doctors and medical professionals still need PPE. Make the world a better place. We have some surprises coming in. Hurry, hurry, go! Go, friend! <laughs>
<laughs> Don't let them see you run. It's good to know.